السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو دی لیکچر آف دی کلاسیکل میکینکس ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس سولوشن فار دا پرابلم نمبر 1.3 وچ از فرام چیپٹر 1 اینڈ سیریل نمبر 3 کوئی کوسچن سٹیٹمنٹ از فائنڈ دی ٹرانسفارمیشن میٹرکس دیٹ روٹیٹ اے ریکٹینگولر کوارڈینیٹ سسٹم تھرو این اینگل اف 120 ڈگری اباؤٹ این ایکسس میکنگ ایکول اینگل وتھ دا اوریجنل three coordinate axis it means uh, <coughs> in this our uh, we have three axis x1 x2 and x3 and our threes of all of the vector are rotating by 120 degrees so we have to find the transformation matrix for all of the vectors this yes we have this x1 vector you know that uh, this is x1 we will write this with x1 and similarly x2 and x3 vector so our x1 vector rotated by 120 degrees x2 vector rotated by x120 degree and similarly x3 vector uh, so we know that if we have to find the transformation matrix then we can write the transformation matrix by like this lambda 1 1 lambda 1 2 lambda 1 3 similarly lambda 2 1 lambda 2 2 and lambda 2 3 lambda 3 1 lambda 3 2 and lambda 3 3 so if we find all of the entries of this matrix it means we have obtained the transformation so what do you mean by lambda 1 1 lambda 1 1 the first indices represent the uh, prime and the second indices represent the unprimed axis so it means the angle between x1 prime axis and x1 you know that Uh, x1 prime axis and x1 the angle between x1 prime and x and x1 is equal to 90 so its cos 90 will be equal to 0 similarly lambda 1 to the angle between x1 prime and x2 is 0 there is no change between x1 prime and x2 so cos of 0 will be equal to 1 similarly uh, if we go back for the other lambda 1 3 the angle between x1 prime and x 3 so this is 90 so you can write it cos 90 is 0 lambda 2 1 the angle between cos of x2 prime and x1 is equal to 90 cos 90 is 0 so you have to find you will find this all of the entries and put this into this matrix so this will <coughs> give you a transformation the different the difficult task is that you have to find the angle between this uh, axis Uh, also you can better understand the uh, statement of the question by from this diagram this is our three vector for example x1 x2 and x3 so x1 we have denoted the unit vector along x1 by e1 and x e2 by x2 and similarly uh, the unit vector along x3 is denoted by x3 so <coughs> this is e1 this is e2 and e3 so when this uh, transformation takes place for 120 degree so e1 uh, will goes this at this position because this angle will be 120 so e1 will come here and it will be represented by e1 prime and e3 will comes here and it will be represented by e3 prime and similarly e2 will comes here and it will be represented by e2 prime and the corresponding unit vector by e1 prime e2 prime and e3 prime the effect of the rotation e1 to e3 prime you know that e1 is uh, e1 will uh, goes in the place of uh, e3 prime so e3 prime you know that e3 prime and e1 prime are at the same position and similarly e2 and e1 prime are along the same direction and similarly e2 prime and e3 are the same therefore the transformation matrix is given by cos of e1 prime and e1 cos of e1 prime e2 and cos of e1 prime e3 you know that the angle between e1 prime and e1 e1 prime this is e1 prime and e1 is uh, 90 plus uh, 30 so cos 90 will be equal to 0 and similarly e1 prime and e2 the angle between you know that cos of e1 prime e2 cos of this is uh, our e1 prime and this is e2 so the these two are parallel so cos 0 is equal to 
वन एंड सिमिलरली द एंगल बिटवीन ई वन प्राइम एंड ई थ्री दिस इज आवर ई वन प्राइम एंड दिस इज ई थ्री सो दिस इज वन ट्वेंटी काज ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी कैन बी रिटर्न एज काज ऑफ नाइन्टी प्लस थर्टी सो इट विल बी काज ऑफ नाइन्टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो यू कैन फाइंड ऑल ऑफ द इट्स वैल्यूज फ्राम दिस मैथड ऑल्सो सो दिस इज आवर रोटेशन मैट्रिक्स यू कैन फॉलो आई थ्र ऑफ द टू मैथड एंड विच यू फील वेरी इजी 